This is an island of elemental power, shaped and reshaped by natural forces, where the landscape is constantly forged by a supercharged geology. Here, glaciers sweep over active volcanoes. Ash from previous eruptions carpets the ice. Through the millennia, the glaciers have advanced and retreated, but never has a retreat been as drastic as now. Glacier guide Ryan Connolly takes me towards the Solheim Jokot Glacier, and the speed of retreat is very apparent. So this sign indicates where the glacier was back in 2010. And this isn't actually the very front of the glacier, this is where we would walk onto it. So it's stretched out across this entire valley. And now, nine years later, there it is, there's the front, right back there. And it's continuing to melt at the exact same speed. This is one of the fastest disappearing glaciers in Iceland, but its rate of loss is pretty much replicated wherever you go. We enter Vatnajökull National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site covering 14% of Iceland. Tourists come here in their hundreds every day to see the sites, but the sites are slowly disappearing. What was the glacier 20 years ago is now a raging torrent of muddy ice melt. It is a very dramatic and very visible illustration of the impacts of climate change and it's happening not only to the world's glaciers but also to the polar ice caps. And the thing is that even if we do significantly curb emissions, more than a third of the world's glaciers will disappear by the end of the century. Three years later. Odor Sigurdsson is a geologist. He's been charting glacier loss for decades and is well aware of the global implications. The glaciers will melt. The meltwater runs down to the ocean and the ocean surface rises. I told uh, my friends in America just now, uh, past week, that the uh, refugees would not only be coming from Mexico and Central America, they would be coming from Florida and the Atlantic coast and uh, the Gulf Coast of America, of the United States. At home, businesses that rely on the tourist dollar are preparing for an uncertain future. Oli Vinjensen runs a guest house on the farm where he's lived pretty much all his life. We have seen a huge difference uh, last couple of years and just for maybe 30 years ago then, then we saw three glacier tongues uh, from this side but now we only see two of those. And the glacier are one of the most tourist attractions in Iceland. So of course it can have effect on, on you know, all the main pillar of the economic part in Iceland. This story is being repeated around the world. And just as the melting adds to sea level rise, a water supply for hundreds of millions of people is disappearing before our very eyes. It is a bleak picture, but there is no other way of telling it. Scientists say the focus must now be on trying to save what we can of this crucial part of the planetary system. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Vatnajökull, Iceland.